the expectations are very high. You have to bear in mind that oh, this is a huge organization. But from the hotel, from the transportation, from all the angles that I've seen the one day that I have been here, uh, there is certainty in that you will deliver extraordinary. Six months or eight months ago, uh, I was already impressed. Everything was ready by then, and everything is more than ready. I was honored to be the chair of the Coordination Commission for the Beijing 2022 winter. And I always said, when they were asking, is that very difficult? I said, I have the easiest job in the IOC. When the organizer is a Chinese organization, you can go to bed very calm because you know that the job is going to be done. You have had Beijing last year, winter. You just finished university games in Chengdu. You are having now Asian Games. Very soon, Chengdu again, you will have the World Games. That for multi-sport. And most of the International Sports Federation, they rely heavily in China and the Chinese people and their orga capacity to organize extraordinary events. So you are a force, probably the most important force today in the world in organizing sporting events. We count on you. And when there is a need, there is China to, uh, to help. So uh, we feel so comfortable and happy. I inherited something very important to my family, which was the Samaranchi. China and Samaranchi was an extraordinary friendship. My father uh, left us in 2010. We decided that we would try to keep that relationship alive. Thus, uh, with the help of the uh, uh, Chinese authorities, we did set up a foundation, the Samaranchi Foundation. Through the foundation, through my work for in the Olympic Committee for Beijing 2022, and through my personal life, I've been, and since the year 2012, between 60 and 70 times to China. So I cannot tell you how much I comfortable I feel here. And if you come so often, it's, it's not commitment. It is feeling good among friends.